Okay, AI, how do mirages happen? I wish I could have Scarlett Johansson's voice for you, smoky hot, but you, all you got is the soldier sound of my voice. Mirages occur when the air near the ground is significantly hotter than the air higher up. This causes light rays passing through the air to bend or refract creating an optical illusion of water or other objects that are not actually there. When light travels from one medium to another, such as from air to water, or from hot air to cooler air, its speed and directions change, causing it to bend. In the case of a mirage, the hot air near the ground causes the light to refract upward creating an image of the sky or other objects that appear to be on the ground. The most common type of mirage is the inferior mirage, which appears as a shimmering pool of water on a hot road or desert surface. This occurs when the hot air near the ground refracts light from the sky, creating an image of the sky below the horizon. Another type of mirage is the superior mirage, which occurs when colder air near the ground refracts light from objects higher up, creating an image that appears to be floating above the real object. Mirages are often seen in desert regions or over hot pavement during hot summer months, but they can also occur over water or snow-covered surfaces. All right, so I guess what I figured I would do right now is just, just look back at the uh, AI response. Mirages occur when air near the ground is significantly hotter than the air higher up, okay? What is significantly... <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, teacher. How much significance is significantly, right? And if you go back to my previous rant on hotter and hot or warm and warmer or cold and colder, if you have ground that is 32 degrees and air that is 30 degrees, then that qualifies as hotter than cold, right? But what is significant, right? That's not, that's not specific enough. It's just not. Not only that, but this entire answer does not take into account the viewer's observation position by distance and eye level. This causes light rays passing through the air to bend or refract, creating an optical illusion of water or other objects that are not there. Okay, look, that's not specific enough, okay? So it's not just this random bullshit like, oh, there's, a, there's an object of a cow out there. No, look, <clears throat> a mirage begins by being differentiated from any optical refraction phenomenon as a mirrored image inverted <clears throat> okay now it's my position as you all know that there is only a mirage there's only one kind of mirage and that's always with the target above and the mirage below there's no need to have a differentiation between superior and inferior because there's only one kind so Creating an optical illusion of water, okay, that means the sky is being miraged, or other objects that are not there. That could be anything in the distance over terrestrial or aquatic um, corridors, mountains, trees, lighthouses, houses, you know. So it's not specific enough. This is just not specific enough. AI, you didn't do it. You, 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 no, sorry. I'm going to put a thumbs down. I can get a response to this. Thumbs down. Oh, what was the issue? I got a feedback. Okay, I got to do that later. 
When light travels from one medium to another, such as from air to water or from hot air to cooler air, its speed and directions, direction changes. It's, yeah, so this isn't even good English. It's speed and direction change. It's speed change. Oh, no, I guess that is right. Okay, never mind. Causing it to bend. In the case of a mirage, the hot air near the ground causes the light to refract upward, creating an image of the sky or other objects that appear to be on the ground. Again, that's not very specific. It doesn't give you a very accurate depiction as, as to what this is, what this is, but I would think that the the response should be something like, in the case of a mirage, now, okay, whatever, the hot air near the ground causes the light to refract upwards, presenting the image below. Like, that's a very important distinction because that's the whole science of refraction is that it's it has a, it has a, physical reality in one direction and an optical reality in another direction. The most common type of mirage is the inferior mirage, which appears as a shimmering pool of water on a hot road or a desert surface. This Now, I mean, that's too simplistic. It's just too simplistic. That's just too simplistic. Should I say it again? This occurs when the hot air near the ground, okay, we're being redundant, Refracts light from the sky, redundant, creating an image of the sky below the horizon. That's not the only thing that happens in an inferior mirage is that the sky is mirrored below. It's just not. Another type of mirage is the superior mirage, which occurs when cooler air near the ground refracts light. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Another type of mirage occurs when colder air that's the same as the inferior mirage because the air near the ground is hotter than the air above. So the air above is cooler or colder. So this too is insufficient AI bot creating an image that appears to be floating above the real object. No, no. No, no, sorry. Mirages are often seen in desert regions or over hot pavement during the summer, summer months. No, no, no. It's always with the differential. It's always with a warmer ground surface than air but they can also occur over water or snow-covered surfaces. That's because it's the differential. It's not the location. It can happen anywhere. Mirages happen everywhere, okay? So this again is just not good enough. It's just not good enough. So I'm gonna have to now write up a response for this, but um, anyway, this is my response to the AI response of mirages, and I'm just going to keep doing this and see what happens. So I hope you enjoy this. Until next time.